Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to solve and graph the absolute value inequality. So in this case, I have the absolute value of w plus 6 is less than 2. And I notice that my inequality here is a less than, um, or my absolute value is less than its value. So therefore, this is going to provide an, a compound inequality of and when I create my two cases. So when doing this, i got to make sure that um, when I create my two cases, I'm going to have to negate this side for one of my cases. i got to make sure I flip my sign. So my first case, I can remove my absolute value when I create my two cases. I have w plus 6 is less than 2. Um, and you can kind of write this in. Sometimes it's helpful. w plus 6 is greater than negative 2. All right? So now what we're going to do is we're going to solve each inequality separately and then graph them together. So I'll subtract 6, subtract 6, and I have w is less than negative 4. And then here, I subtract 6, subtract 6, and I have w is greater than negative 8. Now, I think what's helpful is to, when you're graphing compound inequalities in the, in the form of and, is to graph both inequalities separately on the same number line or on different number lines and then combine them with their intersection. Because remember, and represents the intersection of your two inequalities. Re represent that on your final one. So let's see, we're going from negative 4 to negative 8. So let's have 0 be right here. Now, all my graphs are going to be the same. So let's go by 2's, 2. Negative 2, negative 4, negative 6, negative 8, negative 10, negative 12. And I'll just do that for every single one of my graphs. So therefore, everything's kind of uniform. Okay. Now, all I'm going to do is for each one, um, I am going to graph. Why did I break that? Negative 8, negative 6, negative 4, negative 4. Negative 2, negative 2. OK, so here I'll graph w is less than negative 4. Here I'll graph w is greater than negative 8. And here I'll graph the solution absolute value of w. I'll graph the and of w plus 6 absolute value is less than 2. So I'll graph both of them together. So this state, w is less than negative 4. So I go to negative 4, put in a dot. Since it's less than and not less than or equal to, my point is going to be open. Then it says all the values that are less than. Well, all values that are less than negative 4 are going to be to the left. Here, I have w is greater than negative 8. So I put a point at negative 8. And then again, it's, not, it's greater than not greater than or equal to. So it's going to leave left open. Then um, all the values that are greater than negative 8 are going to be to the right. Okay. Therefore, you can see that these two inequalities intersect only between my two points. And, but they're not true for both of them. It's true. A negative 8 is true for this inequality, but it's not true for that inequality. Negative 4 is not true for this inequality, but it's true for that inequality. So therefore, I'm going to leave my open points, but I will shade in between because they're both true in between. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve and graph your absolute value inequality. Thanks.